Early August 1944, south of Cannes, northwestern France. After D-Day, it took Allied troops a month to capture the French city of Cannes, despite their initial estimate of a few days. By the 7th of August, the Germans had counter-attacked south of Cannes and Mortain, but had been repulsed by American troops under General Patton. To exploit the weakened enemy situation, the Allied High Command devised a plan to encircle both the German 7th Army and 5th Panzer Army in an attempt to capture over 100,000 German troops. While the Allied troops prepare to move out from Cannes towards Falaise, the dejected Germans move back towards Argentan in the east, away from Patton's forces of Mortain. On August the 9th, with French and American troops advancing north towards Argentan from Le Mans, General Montgomery launched his offensive from Cannes, south towards Falaise, with Canadian, Polish and British troops. Near Falaise, a contingent of troops from the German 7th Army wait in prepared positions, protecting a small Würzburg radar installation. These radar units were used to direct German fighter aircraft toward attacking Allied bombers. Advancing along the Bocage, the hedgerow bordered roads in northwestern France, the Allied convoy finally make contact with the German forces and the battle begins. Not only did the German troops have to contend with the Allied ground forces, but also near continual airstrikes from American and British aircraft. Throughout the two-week confrontation in the Falaise area, the Luftwaffe was relatively absent, and so the Allies enjoyed almost total air superiority. alone, the American 19th Tactical Air Command destroyed or damaged over 1,000 vehicles, 45 tanks and 12 locomotives. Throughout the fighting in France after D-Day, French resistant fighters would often assist the Allied troops whenever and wherever they could. Being prepared for the Allies gives the Germans an advantage despite the air attacks. And as they counter-attack with ground troops and armour, the Allied troops are forced to withdraw.
Unfortunately, even while France was being liberated by the Allies, many French resistance fighters were still being captured by the Germans. Irrespective of their minor setbacks and capture, many of the resistance fighters continued to show a strong passion for their fight for liberty.